Hello and welcome to Ray Systems. Michael Weinstein with the product marketing team here. This video is about Toxiray Pro, the industry's first and broadest portfolio of wireless, personal, single gas monitors. In this video, we're going to review how to replace the sensor on Toxiray Pro instruments. The sensor replacement process on Toxiray Pro is simple and straightforward. It involves three steps. Step one, removal of the alligator clip and the rubber boot. Step two, removal of the instrument top cap. And step three, removal and replacement of the sensor. To remove the alligator clip, place the instrument face down, open the alligator clip, and use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the screw holding the alligator clip in place. Once the alligator clip has been removed, the next thing to do is to remove the rubber boot. Start at the bottom of the rubber boot and pull it backwards. Then proceed to the top of the rubber boot and remove it from the top cap. Step two is to remove the instrument top cap. You can do so by twisting it off. Step three is the removal and replacement of the sensor itself. To remove the sensor, gently pull it out of its slot with your fingers. The sensors are plug and play, so once you properly reinstall them, the instrument will immediately and automatically recognize them. Make sure that you replace the sensor with one that is supported by your particular instrument. For example, the Toxiray Pro LEL would only support the catalytic bead LEL sensor manufactured by Ray Systems. Take the new sensor and gently reinsert it into the sensor slot, making sure that the keys on the sensor match the appropriate holes in the instrument body. There is only one way to insert the sensor. Push the sensor all the way in, gently. Now reinstall the instrument top cap. Tighten it all the way. The next step is to reinstall the rubber boot and the alligator clip on the unit. For the rubber boot, start from the very top. Insert the instrument into the top cap opening on the rubber boot and then pull the bottom part of the rubber boot forward to cover the bottom of the instrument. Next, reinstall the alligator clip by placing the unit face down and reattaching the screw on the alligator clip to the back panel of the instrument using a Phillips screwdriver. Close the alligator clip, turn the unit on by pressing and holding the mode button, and let the unit boot up all the way. If you have installed a sensor that's not supported by the instrument, you will get a wrong sensor message. In that scenario, you have to remove that sensor and replace it with a sensor that's supported on the instrument. If the boot up cycle completes successfully and you get to the main measurement screen, you have done a good and proper job of replacing the sensor on your Toxray Pro. In this quick video, we reviewed how to replace the sensor on all Toxray Pro instruments. Please stay tuned for more Ray Systems videos and thank you for watching.